Guys, I want to talk to you about something today. It's a little food I call Top Ramen. Well, not the top kind, the uh, other one. Manchurian Ramen. Mnuchin Ramen. Maruchin Ramen. You've probably had instant ramen at some point in your life. Whether you were pulling an all-nighter in college, finishing up that term paper on quantum physics, or it was the only thing keeping you alive during your marathon sessions of Mario Party 3. But what you may not have had is instant ramen pizza. Now, I hear you, I know what you're thinking, and no, they don't have pizza-flavored ramen. You're thinking of SpaghettiOs. So why don't we try to make pizza ramen a thing? It might be good, we don't know. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can make, like, a crust of ramen noodles and put cheese and sauce on it, but I think I'm just gonna make a pizza where I throw top ramen on top. You click the video. I didn't make you. I'm gonna go up, make it, try it, and uh, I'm gonna grade it on a scale of one to 10. One being I should probably go to hell, 10 being, nah, I didn't get food poisoning. We're gonna make a Neapolitan dome with a ramen seasoning. I don't know. If my calculations are correct, this should make a 14 inch pizza. This dough is the consistency of used gum. Pinch it into a ball and uh, and put it in the fridge for 24 hours. So these ramen noodles are actually going to be our base, not the topping. So I think it's important that they are very flavorful and very fatty. Stretching out the dough, I like to I like to just focus on the rim, making centrifugal motion with my hands. And instead of tossing this in the air like a real pizza man, I'm just gonna gently stretch it out with my knuckles and let gravity do the rest. That's what she said. Uh, it's important to dust the pizza peel with flour, so that way the pizza won't get stuck to the peel. Okay. Use a couple forks just to spread it out, get it nice and even. I feel like a crow building a nest. Sharp cheddar and whole milk mozzarella. Fresh cheddar. This right here is a Blackstone pizza oven. It's basically just a domed blowtorch. I 
got this off of Amazon, but I'm not quite sure if they sell them anymore. Simply due to the fact that this is every fire marshal's worst nightmare. The BTUs are extravagant. So, the bottom has cooked faster than the top. I'm just gonna transfer this to a pizza screen and finish cooking that way. Pizza will get a lot of tiny air bubbles popping up. If they get too big, just pop them like a fork. Look at all that festering cheese. garnish we're going to use some scallions, also known as green onions, and sriracha. Alright guys, this pizza was not that bad. Actually, it was a lot less salty than I would have thought. You notice all that butter I put in the noodles? That's pretty clutch. Also, the sriracha and scallions were pretty important. But yeah, overall I liked it. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I'd probably make it again if I was extremely high or trying to gain 10 pounds in one night. So, there you have it. The ramen pizza.